Hi everyone and welcome to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge 2019. Joining the challenge is very easy. All you have to do is forward your full name, school or company name together with your Fusion 360 email to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. Welcome to our month of May Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge. For this challenge, our units to be in inches. So let's change our units. Heading back to Fusion 360 under Document Settings. Selecting Change Active Units. The unit type to be inch. Selecting OK. Let's begin creating the inner circle. Let's hit C for circle. And let's sketch on our XY plane. Let's drop our center point at the origin. And I'm going to key in 2. Hitting enter. Next, I'm going to create a construction line. So I'm going to hit L for line. Let's create a vertical line from our origin. Moving up. Double left click. Create another line. This time to be horizontal. Left click on our origin. Moving to the right. Double left click. Hit escape. Let's select our two lines, holding control and left click to select this one. And under options, let's make this a construction line. Next, let's create another line at 45 degree angle. So hitting L once more, creating a line from our origin, moving here, double left click, hit D for dimension. Let's dimension this line. Selecting this horizontal line, drop our dimension here, key in 45, hit escape, reselect this line, hit X, making this a construction line. Let's create the feature here, so hitting L for line, create a line at this intersection. Left click here, let's zoom in, left click here, and double left click, hit escape. Let's inspect the constraints. So we have a parallel and a perpendicular. Let's make these two lines symmetrical with this construction line. So let's head to our constraints, scroll down, selecting symmetry, selecting this line, this line, and finally our symmetry line. Let's now grab our dimension, hitting D. Let's select this line and this line, drop our dimension here, key in 0.5, selecting this line and this endpoint, drop our dimension here, key in 0.3, hitting enter, let's zoom out and hit escape. Let's create four instances of this feature. So making sure under select, I am in window selection. So creating a window selection to select this three lines. From here, I will select S on my keyboard to grab our sketch shortcuts and typing P-A-T-T, selecting circular pattern, this one, on top. So we have seven objects selected. Activating center point, selecting our center point or origin. And for the quantity, I'm going to key in 4. Hitting OK. Moving forward, let's create another circle. So hitting C, dropping our center point at the origin. The diameter for this circle to be 4.5. Let's create the two circles here. Let's grab our line once more, hit L, create a line from our center point, going here, double left click, center point, going here, double left click, hit D for dimension. Let's select this vertical line and this line, drop our dimension here, key in, 30. Same with this line and this horizontal line, drop our dimension here, key in, 30. Hitting escape, let's turn these two lines, left click, control left click, into construction lines, hitting X. Let's now hit C for circle, create two circles at the intersection of this line and our circle. 
create a circle at this intersection drop our center point here left click hitting escape the diameter of these two circles to be 0.5 so let's hit d selecting this circle drop our dimension here key in 0.5 hitting escape let's make these two circles equal so let's head to our sketch palette scroll down selecting equal selecting this circle and this circle hitting escape let's zoom out and create another circle so hitting c dropping this at our origin the diameter to be six hitting enter let's grab our line once more hitting l create a line from our origin moving to this intersection create another line from our origin to this intersection hitting d for dimension let's select this vertical line and this line key in 15 same with this line and this horizontal line key in 15 hitting escape next let's grab our sketch shortcuts by hitting s typing br and selecting break let's break this line so notice the x red x left click right click once more to repeat break heading over to this line left click hitting escape let's turn this broken line into a construction line so selecting this line hitting x same with this line hitting x moving forward let's trim some entities so hitting t for trim let's select this arc so left click hitting escape from here let's re-grab our circular pattern hitting s for sketch shortcuts typing p a t t selecting circular pattern selecting objects selecting this line this arc this line this circle and this circle activating our center point selecting this center point and for the quantity let's key in four and hit ok from here you have the option to break the circle if you prefer and congratulations for completing the fusion 360 monthly challenge for may and from here we can extrude this into 3d by hitting e for extrude selecting this profiles adding to home view let's change the direction to symmetric let's pull this arrow and let's say the thickness overall to be 0.2 operation new body and hit ok congratulations and thanks for watching fusion 360 monthly challenge month of may for comments and suggestions, feel free to join and post in our Facebook group, Autodesk Community Philippines. See you soon for month of June, Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge.